Hey everyone, this is Matt with MicroPDM, and I'm going to give a quick demonstration of a new product, the Rapid Enclosure. Alright, so this is it. You can see it's a pretty rugged enclosure, super easy to mount inside of it. We've got the MicroPDM and a couple fuses. Coming off of it, we've got a bunch of flying leads. So seven, one for each output in the MicroPDM. Then we also have power, the ignition signal, and ground. That's enough to get it powered and get it running. And then we've got a couple connectors here, one for a keypad and the other one for can expansion. I'll talk about those in a second. All right, so first thing you would need to do if you were going to install this is you would need to connect it to your battery. And what I'm going to do to simulate that is I'm just going to connect the flying lead for power and ignition to the uh, power supply here on my bench. And I'm also going to connect the ground. All right, so in a race car, of course, you would want to use proper motorsport splices to connect this stuff up. But for now, there we go. The micro PDM is working. It is now searching for a keypad. So let's give it a keypad. Let's slide this out of the way and plug in a keypad. All right, to do that, we're going to use this new keypad cable right here. So it's pre wired, it's plug and play. Plug in one side right here, plug in the other side into a keypad, and grab a keypad right here. I'm going to plug it in. All right, press buttons, and we're off and running. So about a minute and a half, and we are working. So that's it. That's just how quickly you can get started with the rapid enclosure. All right, let's talk about can expansion a little bit. So that's this right here. So on this end, this is our can terminating resistor, and it's in this little plug. So what I can do, I can remove that, and then I can add things to the can bus in a plug-and-play fashion. So I could easily add a second rapid enclosure, right, that might have a... Uh, micro PDM add-on module to get another seven outputs and I would just plug it in right here. All right then of course I would need to keep my CAN bus terminated so plug that back in and now I'm off and running with uh, double the number of outputs right really easy or what I could do is I could extend the CAN bus I could plug in my my AIM data logger for example uh, right there and that way I've tied that into the same CAN bus so I can have the AIM data logger control the micro PDM as well. Uh, one last thing about this is uh, we're following the same standard that AMNet uses. So you can use uh, their excellent CAN hubs, which are uh, widely available, as well as their terminating resistors and their cables to make for uh, a nice, easy plug-and-play solution. And that is it. That is the Rapid Harness demonstration in less than three minutes. Thanks, everyone.